Hey, boys and girls, this is Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell's Math. Just uh, want to start talking about our statistics chapter. This is measures of center. And what that means is basically we're, we're finding averages. Okay. Um, our essential question, or what I want you to know by the end of this video, is how can you use measures of center to describe a data set? So what first thing I want to do is kind of review uh, some words that you should have learned last year. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing I want to talk about is a group of facts. It says the grades of all the students in a school. Okay, and this goes straight to our um, essential question uh, with the term data. Okay, so here we are talking about data. Okay, that's that's the stuff that goes together to that you have to find the averages of. Okay. Next thing is a tool used to gather information from individuals. Okay, a questionnaire given to all the students to find the number of hours each student spends studying in a week. That's an example. All right, so that would be a survey. Okay, maybe you did this in the fifth grade. And the last thing here says a value that summarizes a set of unequal values found by addition and division. Okay, so the results of the survey show that students typically spend five hours a week studying. All right, the, the key word here is typically because we're talking about averages. Okay, so that is exactly an average. Average. Yeah, I spelled it right. Okay, good. All right, so those are words you should have learned last year. You need to review them and make sure you're understanding what, what those definitions mean. Okay. Um, now, this year, you're, we're going to maybe change the term a little bit, but you're going to learn new stuff. So, the first thing that we're going to talk about <coughs> is, it says the average of a data set is the, okay, well, it's the average, but there's another name for it that you're going to know now and learn is the mean, okay, the mean. Um, the next thing is the blank is the middle value of the data set. And that's just a number that's in the very middle. And that is the median. Okay, the median is the number in the middle. And then finally, the number or category that occurs most frequently in a data set is the, all right, and in this case, we're talking about mode. All right, mode. That's the number that appears most often. Okay, so that's just a couple definitions that you're going to need to be familiar with. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with an example. So finding the mean, finding the average. Uh, a measure of center, and that's and some of y'all might even be saying from the title of the video, finding the measure of center, okay, um, is a single number used to describe a set of numeric data. Uh, a measure of center describes a typical value from the data set. Okay, so it's just, it's typical. It doesn't describe everything perfectly. But it just says, on average, you know, it's just like in basketball. You know, a guy may, may score 18 points a game. He doesn't score 18 points every game. He may score 8 points one game. He may score 27 points one game. You never know, okay? So, you know, or like a running back averages 3 yards a carry, okay? That doesn't mean he's going to do that every single time. It just means on average, okay? They've taken all of his carries, divided it by how many times he's carried the ball, and come up with an average or a median or mean rather excuse me so let's look at a real quick average and we have um, Tammy she's surveying five of her friends to find out how many brothers and sisters they have the results are shown in the table here's the table right here so it says number of siblings so Amy has two Ben has three Cal has one Don has one and Eva has three <coughs> so to find the the mean all right, so that's a couple step process. First thing you have to do is add all the data together. Okay, so I want to say 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3. Okay, and that's going to equal, well, 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7, plus 3 is 10. Okay, so now to find the actual average, you're going to divide... 10, oops, not by 2, excuse me, oh, back up, not by 2, but, but how many data sets there are, the pieces of data, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we're going to divide 10 by 5, because there's 5 pieces of data, 10 divided by 5 
is two. So that means on average, her friends have two pets each on average. But you can tell, you can look at it and say, not everybody has two pets. Okay. Some have one, some have as many as three. Okay. But on average, they have two each. All right. Finding the median. Okay. The median is the number in the middle. Okay, it says here, another uh, measure of center is the median. The median represents the middle value of an ordered data set. Ordered, that's the key word here. Ordered is the key word. All right, ordered. That means you put them in order, okay, in case you weren't aware of what that meant. All right, so let's look at a quick example. It says uh, that coach records the distances that some cross-country team members ran last week. Find the median. Okay, so we want to find the number in the middle. So the first thing we want to do is put them in order. Let me kind of make this a little bit bigger so we can see. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, so we want to find the number in the middle. So I want to put all these data values in order from least to greatest. Okay, so I'm going to look for the smallest number. It appears to be three. So Okay, guys, here I'm just ordering the numbers from least to greatest and check, checking them off my list as I do it. Order from least to greatest. So I need to find the number in the middle. So how you find this is you, one way is just to eliminate, going from the outside in, um, the same number of values, okay, until you find the one in the middle. So I can eliminate the 3 and the 10, then the 4 and the 10, and I'm doing this in pairs. 5 and 10, 5 and 8, 6 and 7, and this becomes my number in the middle. 7 equals the median, is the median. Okay, and what that tells me is um, that generally speaking, let me see, what is it? Uh, distances, I guess we're talking about miles, yeah, miles. So this particular measure of center says that the, the cross-country team members run about 7 miles a week, okay? Um, there is another value here, these tens, okay, I mentioned it in the vote, in the definitions part of the page. Uh, we have three tens. That is the mode, okay? Ten equals the mode because that's the number that appears most often, okay, because we have three tens. We also, you notice, we had um, two sevens and two fives. They are not the mode. You can have more than one mode, but it has to be if, like, if the seven appeared three times and the ten appeared three times, then you would have have two modes, okay? Because they both appeared most the same number of times, okay? So last one um, to compare. It says comparing the mean and the median. The mean and the median. Um, there we go. The mean and the median of a data set may be equal. They could be very close to each other or very different from each other. For data sets where the mean and median differ greatly, one likely describes a data set better than the other. Okay, so here's an example. We have um, three, uh, the monthly earnings of several teenagers are 200, 320, 275, 250, 750, 350, and 310. Okay, so first thing, let's go ahead and find the mean. Okay, so, and I'll tell you what, when you're finding the mean and the median and the mode, it's probably just a good idea to go ahead and put them in order and then stack them like you were going to add them because eventually we're going to have to add them anyway. Okay, so the smallest number I see there is 200. All right, guys, so here I'm just uh, ordering them from least to greatest, starting at the top, and scratching them out of my list so I know I get all my numbers in there. Up to get Now, see, I got them in order, so I can easily find the median or the middle, okay? Let me go ahead and do that first, because that's, that's usually the easiest thing to find. The median equals, let's see, we'll go ahead and cross this out, cross that out, cross this out, cross that out, cross this out, cross that out. The median is $310, okay? But let's go ahead and add this up, all right? So I'm going to use it black. I got it. All right, here, boys and girls, I'm just adding my numbers up and getting my grand total. So 2455, but I have to divide by how many pieces of data we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of data. All right, so I'm going to divide 2455 by 
All right, here, boys and girls, I am just doing the division. I don't think I need to spend a lot of time on that, so I sped the video up for this as well. So I can round, I could say the average or the mean of the data is 350 uh, and and 71 cents okay so 350 71 um here i feel like i made a mistake adding so i checked my work okay no i did add that right so 30 350 dollars 71 cents is the mean so they are definitely different okay we just need to decide um that one's 310 this one's 350 why the difference um, well, I can tell you the difference right here is because of this 750. Uh, the median, we're just looking at the number in the middle. But with the average, we're, we're taking into consideration all the numbers. So um, the 750 kind of, kind of um, makes the average a little bit higher. If that 750 wasn't there, I promise you the uh, average would be closer to that 310. So the three, the median in this particular case is a better way to describe this data because it's more representative of the number numbers that are there you got this one kid right here that's making seven hundred and fifty dollars is this a month again or is this um monthly yeah so he's making 750 a month he's making a lot more than the other guys so that's that's kind of messing the averages up okay but in this case the median is the best way to do it so that's a brief introduction into um measures of center uh finding the the mean finding the median and also just recognizing the mode we'll talk about that more in class and you need to be able to compare the two as well all right